Hello everybody and welcome to another tips and tricks video from Switch. My name is Cam and in this particular video, we're going to cover iOS 10 for the iPhone and the topics include the clock app, the new sleep feature inside the clock app, as well as notifications, widgets and accessibility and so much more. So let's get started. Okay, so right now what you're seeing on the screen is my iPhone 6 Plus running iOS 10. So I'll start by showing you one of the cool features, which is bedtime inside the clock app. Let me tap on the clock app. And right now I'm actually highlighting the bedtime app. Bedtime is a very cool feature built into iOS 10 that basically allows you to stay healthy by waking up at the same time every day and sleeping at the same time. And it's very, very easy to set up. Let me set it up for you right now. Let me get started. So I like to say that oh, every day in the morning, I like to wake up in Malaysia about 6.30 in the morning. It should be good enough to beat some of the traffic. Let me go next. Then uh, in the one work day in the week, I'm most likely I'm working Mondays to Fridays, Saturday, Sundays is rest day. I'll skip that. Next. Then how many hours of sleep I need each night? Well, I'm kind of lazy, so I need 10 hours of sleep. So next. So yeah, I need a bedtime reminder to remind me to go to sleep maybe 15 minutes before. Next, then uh, I can choose what kind of song to wake me up. So let's see, bird song sounds nice. Next, then this is to explain to me that it's going to start recording all my details for my sleep history inside the health app, which I'm going to cover later. So I'm going to tap on save. And that's about it. So my bedtime is at 8.30, 15 minutes before that, I'll get a reminder. I'll wake at 6.30 and I get a nice 10 hour of sleep. There's a sleep analysis over there and you can just tap and drag. You can see that it gives you all this option. Right now, there's nothing. But if I have more history, it'll bring you into the health app that you see over here. So health app, as usual, is very, very useful too. You can actually input all your personal particulars into it. And it's used by a lot of tracking applications, from fitness apps to jogging apps, and of course, the bedtime and clock. So Health App now integrates bedtime to help you track your sleep cycles. Very useful tool. Try it out in iOS 10. But beyond that, iOS 10 also has some cool features. One of them is the new widget panel. So where's the widget panel? Well, let me show you. Right now, I'm in my home screen. If I use my finger, tap on the screen and hold and swipe it to my left. Welcome to my widgets. Now, let me just hide it again. Alternatively, if I swipe down to bring up my recent notification, I can also swipe to the left over here to also go to the widget. So there's two ways to do it. Okay? Either way, it's very cool. So all these are widgets. Widgets are simple, cool little notification areas to give you information on the app that you want. And you can modify it. Tap on edit when you scroll and swipe all the way to the bottom. Tap on edit. And you can see that you can add the widget. You can organize them. You can remove the things you don't want. Let's say you don't want calendar. You can remove it. And if you want to add it, you can select. So let's say I want to add a music one. I want to add the notes. Let me just move this around and we can drag it using the handlebar on the right side. Let me take away the app. News, I don't need it. Weather, I'll bring it up. Okay, tap on done. And you can see that it changes to reflect what kind of widget I would like. And you can always install new application. They will offer and they even suggest what kind of widget to add to your screen. So it's very, very, very cool. In fact, this is related to the notifications area. So if I bring down my notification, it's really clean up, it's much more neater, and it gives you more details for the information you want. Make it easier to clear and keep organized. So the last thing that I want to share with you for this particular video is accessibility as well as something cool, which is rest finger on the home button. So let's start with magnifier accessibility. Let's go and go to generals, accessibility. There's something new called magnifier. Now, Please keep in mind that this is different from Zoom, which we covered in the previous video. So Magnify is something new. It basically allows you to use your camera to magnify something. And I want to show this to you. I'm going to turn on my magnifier. And I'm going to turn it on by 
triple clicking the home button. So let me do this. One, two, three. And welcome to Magnifier. You can see that my interface is very simple. I got the slider and I can just magnify. So I'm now looking outside of my office building here and I can actually really, really magnify. It's very useful if you have challenges in seeing objects in the distance. And the cool part here is that you can apply filters. So let's say you need a filter, maybe uh, you're slightly colorblind, you are visually challenged. Like in my case, I do need this. It's actually very useful because I have a hard time seeing contrast. This is a lifesaver. It actually makes it very useful for your mobile device to become an aid, a visual aid in the day-to-day -day use. So this is a magnifier. Again, you can take photos of what you've seen, okay, to freeze it so you can edit it. So that if something that you've seen, you just want to quickly see what it is, it allows you to view it over here. Magnifier. So let me just exit it, okay, and turn it off magnifier. The last part I want to share with you is the new lock screen. So for iOS 10, you no longer swipe to your right or left, whichever way the usual muscle memory where you swipe to unlock is no longer there. Instead, you have to press the home button. You have to physically press it. But there's another way where you just need to rest your finger on the home button. And it's very easy. In accessibility, there's a feature called home button. I'm tapping on it. And you can notice that I've set rest finger to open. Now, I cannot demonstrate to you over here because my screen is now being recorded, but it means that if I want to wake up my device, I just need to rest my finger on the home button where the Touch ID is located, and it will unlock for me automatically without me needing to physically press the home button. So these are all cool tips and tricks that you can try out on your iOS 10 device for your iPhone. So we hope that this video is helpful. Please support us on social media, like us, follow us, Subscribe on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and so much more. Give us your comments and suggestions. We hope that you like this video. Thank you for watching, and until next time, this is Ken from Switch saying bye.